I want to show you how to get rid of that possibly annoying for you slash collections URL slug that happens in your product pages when you visit them uh, from a collection page. And if we go on uh, moz.com, they've got this guide for you know, Shopify optimizing for uh, SEO on Shopify. And I love Moz, I trust Moz. And if we scroll through here, they make reference to duplicate content and they note that uh, Shopify creates this issue within product pages by default. And I'm not sure this is true anymore. Shopify stores allow their slash products pages to render two different URL paths, the canonical path, which is slash products, and the non-canonical path, which is slash collections, whatever the collection it was in at the time and products, slash products. And so you end up with, with duplicate non-canonical URLs in uh, your store. And it's an easy thing to fix in the theme. And so I found you know, there's a, a thread that that Moz article links to uh, where people walk through it and they say, well, this is the intended behavior, but here's how you fix it. And aha, they tell you there's a pipe filter where it says within current collection. So it, where it says within current collection. So it, Shopify liquid code does a little bit of magic and adds this slash collections URL in here. But all right, let me show you what I'm talking about. So here's the, the out of the sandbox uh, turbo demo store. I'm in a collection page and on here, if I hover over an item and I click through, we can see what is going on here. Let's go back. You can see in the bottom left, it says slash collections, slash apparel, slash products, slash intentional short. And what we want is for the theme to just send us to a link that says slash products, slash intentional short, no slash collection, slash apparel. And that way we don't have this duplicate product issue. Now in the past, themes all did this by default, but I don't know that that's true anymore because if we go in um, Shopify Supply, their swag store, uh, we look at a collection page there, and we look at our URLs, you can see they just go to slash products. And same with, um, if we load up their demo store for Dawn, their default theme, same deal. When you go to a collection and click through, it, uh, well, here it doesn't do it, but it said it doesn't include the slash collection, just says slash products. So we, we, I suspect that's the, the preferred method now. We implement this on a few client stores. We think we had positive results with it. You know, it's hard to, to be 100% sure. So how do we do it? How do we do this ourselves? Well, I'm going to implement this on my wife's Shopify store. We're going to update it. And so let's head to her site. And under shop, she's got some tees, some lovely t-shirts. And on here, I can see they go to slash collections. Ugh. All right, I don't want that. I want to get rid of that. So here we're going to go in this live theme. We're going to say edit code. And oh, it's got the, the updated theme editor. Edit your themes files. Choose from the side. All right, and once I'm in the theme editor, we're gonna search for a phrase. We're looking for within colon collection. And normally I use a theme ex extension to search through themes quickly. However, this theme editor uh, at the time of this recording has just recently been updated. So my theme search tool does not work. Uh, however, here, let me show you the Shopify theme search tool extension that I'm using. Um, there's one by Bold that works very well, and there's another one uh, that works well, just called Shopify Theme File Search by, it says it's offered by Diego Fortes. So those are the two I've used uh, that work for me, and hopefully one of the two will be updated to support this new theme editor. But all right, we need to find in our theme, you know, normally if you have the theme extension, you can search for this within colon collection, and you'll find what you want right away. In our case, I get a sleuth it. I know that it's in snippets uh, and it's probably in product loop, product dash loop. And so once I've got product dash loop open, there it is. If I hit find all there within collection. And so you can see what this thing's doing. Like here's the link, a href custom featured product at URL within collection. All I gotta do is take that out. Let's remove that, hit save. 
I'm just going to search again. Oh, here's another one. Take that out. Save. And now I don't see any more in here. So, okay. Now if I go back, this says slash collections in the URL. If I look in the bottom left, and now when I refresh, and I refresh, it still goes to slash collections. So I definitely have not fixed this. The screencast video is getting away from me. Product swatch. You know, now I'm just going to start finding stuff. Product thumbnail. There it is. Okay. Here we go. Take that out. Take that out. Save. Let's find it again. Not in there. So let's refresh it. Let's see if it happens again. Refresh. Oh my gosh, there we go. We fixed it. Now when I click through, you can see it goes slash products, slash product title, or slash product handle rather, and that collections URL is gone now. I've undone it. Fabulous. However, what if, what if my wife says, I didn't want that. That's bad. Why didn't you ask? Well, it's easy to change. In the theme editor, it does some basic versioning. Don't rely on this as a backup. Uh, but you can go current and original. It'll keep a log of the changes so you can switch back to it. So if I switch original just now and search for within collection, there it is. It's still in there. So it's undone my changes. But I'm going to go back to current because it does what we want. And now we should be good to go. Hopefully I didn't break anything else. All right. Hope that helps.